So students, before we start our chapter, here we have some lesson objective. First we have visual basic, then starting visual basic, then components of visual basic window and then properties method and events, then creating an application in visual basic, then working with forms and controls and lastly we have handling events. So students, these are some points we are going to discuss in this chapter in detail. So let's start our first topic that is introduction. A program is a series of instructions given to a computer to direct. It carry out certain operations. There are two systems of programming, procedure oriented and object oriented. In earlier classes, you have learned to develop program in basic or QBasic which is a producer oriented language. Visual Basic is an object oriented programming language. So, let us understand the basic feature of Visual Basic and learn to write simple programs in it by developing some applications. So, students, uh, program kitne types ke hote? Program hote hain do types ke. Ek hota hai procedure oriented aur ek hota hai visual object oriented. So, now let's discuss Visual Basic. Microsoft Visual Basic is a convenient window based programming language. It is developed from another language, BASIC, which is a DOS based. BASIC is the short form of beginner's all purpose symbolic instruction code. Short form of BASIC is beginner's all purpose symbolic in instruction code. So, Visual Basic different from the BASIC in many ways. Visual Basic, v, that is VB, is an Visual Basic programming and is performed in a graphical environment. So, Visual Basic provides GUI, that is Graphical User Interface feature. In Basic, if you have to write program code for graphical object, you need to define its position and other features by writing statements. However, in Visual Basic, you just require to drag and drop any graphical object anywhere on the form and you can change its properties by using the properties window. So students, now we have an interesting fact that says VB is a programming language popular among beginners. It was developed by Microsoft in May 1991. Now, let's start our second topic that is starting Visual Basic. So, in this topic, we are going to learn how will we start Visual Basic. Visual Basic ko start kaise kare? So, Visual Basic is a component of Microsoft Visual Studio software. To work on Visual Basic, Microsoft Visual Studio must be in your system. So, Visual Basic ko start karne ke liye, humar paas must have kya hota hai? Humko Visual Basic Studio humar paas must have hona chahiye humare computer system mein. Here you can see the interface. Now, to start Visual Basic, follow the steps given below. So, here are some steps you have to follow if you want to start your Visual Basic program. So, first step is click on the start button. Now, then select all program option from the start menu and then click on the Microsoft Visual Basic Studio 6.0 option. You will find the new project window on the screen as shown in the figure. Now, second, select standard EXE option from the new tab of new project window and click on the OK button. Now next, Microsoft Visual Basic window will display on the screen. So this is how you can start your Microsoft, Microsoft Visual Basic program. Now, now let's learn about modes of VB that is Visual Basic. So Visual Basic ko hum short form mein VB bhi bol sakte hain. Now design mode. Here we are going to learn about the different modes of VB. First we have design mode. This is the state where we create object. Then we have run mode. In this mode statements, statements are executed. Then we have break mode. When application generator error, we have its execution for removing errors. Now let's jump to our next topic that is components of visual basic window. And now we are going to learn about some, some components of Visual Basic. So let's start. Observe the different parts of Microsoft Visual Basic window given below. Here you can see the interface of Visual Basic program. 
Now let us learn some components. Here you can see title bar. Then we have toolbox. Inside the interface you can see form window. And on the other hand you can see menu bar. Then toolbar. Then project windows. And then properties window. And here you can see parts of visual basic window. So students these are some parts of our visual basic window. Now here you can see. Now let's learn about title bar. The title bar present at the top of the window and displays the name of the currently open object. Now next, menu bar. It renders you with different drop down menu to carry out different commands. It helps in developing the application. Then toolbar. It provides you quick access to commonly used command in, this, in the programming environment. By default, the standard toolbar is displayed when you start Visual Basic. Now we have Toolbox. It provides a set of tools that you use at design, at design to place control on a form. Apart from the default Toolbox layout, you can create your own custom layouts by selecting Add tab from the context menu and adding controls to the res to the resulting tab. The different controls of toolbox are shown in the previous page. Students, here you can see the controls of toolbox. Now let's read what are they. Here you can see on the top pointer, then label, then frame, pointer, checkbox, horizontal scroll bar, time, timer, then directory list box, then shape, then image, then OLE. And now on the other hand, you can see on the top picture box, text box, command button, option button, list box, vertical scroll bar, drive list box, file list box, line and lastly data. Now here you can see form window. Form is an interface through which user inter through which user interface with application. A form contains many control elements such as labels, text boxes and command buttons etc. It provides black form. Now we have project window. A project comprises many forms, the list of which is shown in the project window. Project window has three buttons, view, view code, view object and toggle folder button. Now we have properties window. The window is applied to display and specify the properties of the form and different object control. It displays the properties either in alphabetic order or in category. Here you can see properties window. This window is applied to display and specify the properties of the form and different objects and control. It displays the properties either in alphabetic order, form layout window. It allows you to position the form in your application using a small graphical representation of the screen. Now, these are some components of our visual basic. Now it's time to know an interesting fact that is object browser is another important part of VB window. VB is visual basic which can be accessed either by pressing F2, F2 key or selecting it from the view menu. The object browser help you to browse the various properties, events and methods associated with different objects. Now students it's time to start our next topic that is properties, method and events. So in Visual Basic, the form and the form and each object is related to individual properties, method, and events. First, we have properties. So, properties specify the name of the form or an object. The common properties of the form are given below. Here are given some common properties of the form. Now, first we have name. Properties specify the name of the form or an object. The common properties of the form are given below. Here are given some common properties of a form and these are first name. The name property identifies a text box while writing the program. Second one is caption. It provides the title of the form. Third one is appearance. It can have different values. The value 0 create the form look flat while the value 1 creates the form look three dimensional. Then we have font. It used to define the font type, font style and font size for the text. Then we have font color. This property sets the color of the form. Then we have back color. This property sets the color of the form. 
this property sets background color of the form then enabled it can have true or false value the value true allows the form respond to mouse and keyboard events while the value false allows <coughs> allows it unable to respond then we have visible it can also have true or false value the value true causes if the value true causes the form visible while the value false causes it invisible then we have max length it is used to maximize length of text that can be entered in text box so students these are some properties of the form now we are going to learn about some methods of the form here are methods methods are the action performed on the form or object the common method of the form are given below here are given some common methods of a form first one we have show this method causes the form visible it is the same as setting a form visible property to true then we have hide it makes the form invisible now we have print it shows text string on the form now we have events events of a form and event is a message sent by an object denoting that something has occurred the common events of the form are given below and here are some common events of a form first is form click when the user click on the form form click event is triggered then we have form load when the form is loaded form load event is triggered now students these are some common properties and common properties events and method of a form now we are now we are going to learn an interesting fact that says form is an interface through which the user interacts with the application so form ek aisa interface hai jiske through hum jiske through hum application se interact kar sakte hain now let's start our new topic that is creating an application in visual basic so this is our uh, this is our our main topic we are going to create an application in visual basic so in visual basic an application is created in the following in the following three steps so visual basic mein application ko create karne ke three main steps hain aur wo kya hai first is design the interface interface ko design karna second set properties of the controls and objects application ki properties aur uske controls ya objects ko set karna then third write the event procedure aur fir humme apne event ke procedure likhne hain these are three main steps to create a form and here you can see the interface of default form to perceiving these steps let us create a simple application by following the procedure given below so now we have some procedure we have to follow this if we want to create an application now let's start first we have start microsoft visual basic 6 as described earlier now next a default form with the name form 1 will be appeared on the window to start your new project double click on form 1 the source code window for form 1 as shown will appear here you can see the interface of source code window now the top of the source code window comprises a list of object and their related events are events or procedure in the figure given alongside object displayed is form and the associated procedure is load when you click on the object box the drop down list list of objects you have placed into your form you can see a form with the name form 1 a label with the name label 1 and the picture box with the name picture 1 in the same way when you click on the procedure box list of procedures related to the object will be appeared as shown and here you can see the interface of running the program here you can see the interface of entering the program code now next is in the figure given in step 3 sound some of the procedure related to the object form 1 are activate click double click drag drop key press etc each object has its own set of procedures you can always select you can always select an object and write codes for any of its procedure in order to accomplish certain task now enter the program code between private sub form private sub form load and end sub statement as shown here you can see the interface kya tha upar wala here you can see the interface of running the program 
now our next step is now press f5 key to run the program but you will get a blank form form 1 on the screen in order to display the output you will have to insert the form 1 show statement before the print statement as shown in the figure press f5 or click on the run button to run the program you will get the output as shown in the figure here you can see the interface of output of the program now students let's start our next topic that is working with forms and control we can also create an application where the output is produced based on user's input through keyboard or mouse such a procedure is known as an event procedure before writing an event procedure for the control to, re to respond to a user input you have to set some properties for the control you can set the properties of the control in the properties window or at runtime so let us understand how you can work with form applying the different controls now we are going to learn applying forms using different controls so here you can see applying text box the text box is the standard control of standard control for obtaining input from the user and displaying the output it can handle both text string and numeric data string in a text text box can also be transformed to a numeric data by applying the functional well that is text some important properties related to text box are as follow here are some important properties of a text box first is name it is the name given to the text box then appearance text box can be 3d or flat in appearance then we have multi line this property decides whether whether the text will be displayed in a single line or multiple lines in the text box then we have password character this property hides the text with the single character applying on any other character then we have max length this limits the length of the text value zero donates unlimited length then we have enabled it can have true or false value depending upon whether the text box is responds to any event or not text this property contain the text which is displayed on the command button so students these are some important properties of text box now we are going to learn applying the label the label is a very useful control for visual basic which is used to give instruction and guides to the user it can also be used to display output outputs some important properties related to label are as follows here are some important properties related to label before we learn about the properties of label here we have an interesting fact instead of writing form 1 show statement you can just use form underscore activate event procedure instead of form load procedure as shown now students let's continue our topic and here we are going to learn some diff some important properties of label here you can see name it is the name given to the label then we have appearance it can be 3d or flat in appearance then we have border style it decides the type border given to the label then we have caption it is the text displayed in the label then we have font it is applied to set font font style and font size there are two events related to label click and double click the click event is triggered when the user clicks on a label so these are some properties of label now we have using the common button so the common button is applied to carry out commands when the user click on the command button it displays an illusion that the button is pressed some important properties related to command button are given below so now we have some now we have some important properties of command button and here we have appearance it can be 3d or flat in appearance then caption it is the text displayed on the command on the command button then visible it can have the value true or false depending upon whether it is visible or not now we have font this property sets font font style and font size now enables it can have the value true or false depending upon whether it responds 
to an event or not an event replaced to the command button is clicked which is triggered when it's selected by clicking on it here you have learned about command now we have the check box the check box control enables you to select or deselect an op an option when the check box is checked its value is set to 1 and when it's unchecked the value is set to 0 you can include the statement check one value is equals to 1 to mark the check box and check one value is equal to 0 and mark the check box now we have opening an existing project so first we have click on file open project option the open project dialog box appears now find the project and select it then select on the open button the selected project will open then select the form which you want to open either by double clicking on it or by selecting the option from the context menu and here you can see the interface for the same that is open project dialog box in vb now let's now it's time to start our new topic that is handling events you can easily create application to handle event in visual basic let us develop some event driven application to solve some simple problems now we are going to solve some problems so here we have our first problem that is develop a program to find the total marks obtained by a student in in three subjects so and its solution is in visual basic the program can be solved in the following three steps so to solve this problem we have three steps to follow first one is design the interface so to design the interface form you need to place the different control on the on the form a control can be placed on a form by double clicking on the required emerge in the middle in the middle of the form click on the control and drag it to the desired location to change the position of control you can also resize the control by dragging the edge and corner pointers now let us design the form by adding the different controls as shown in the figure here you can see the interface of designing the interface now next we have set properties of the controls by default the name of different boxes are text1 text2 and etc Now you can change the name of different text boxes by clicking on the control and entering the new name in properties window and you can also change the caption of command button by selecting the button and entering the new caption in properties window as demonstrated below in the figure therefore change the name of the text boxes of the text boxes text1 text2 text3 text4 and text5 as sub name maths english hindi and total respectively you should also erase the content of text boxes to make them blank as the total text box would not accept the value change its enabled property to false from the object from the properties window here you can see the interface of properties window of form now our next step is finally write the event procedure for the calculate total button by clicking on the command button and the required programming code between private sub command 1 click and end sub as demonstrated in the figure here you can see event procedure now we have run the program to turn the program press f5 key you will notice the blank form enter the name and mark of the sub of the student in three subjects and then click on the calculate total button you will obtain the output as shown in the figure then we have save the project do not forget to save your form and project by selecting save form and save project option respectively from the file menu and here you can see the interface of program execution form so students this is how you can create your own form now this is it from this chapter what we have learned in this chapter let's have a quick look at some key points so here you can see first we have Visual Basic is a convenient window based programming language. So Visual Basic kya hai? Visual Basic ek kafi convenient bahut easy programming language hai jisko hum use kar sakte hain. Then there are different parts of Microsoft Visual Basic window like title bar, menu bar, tool bar, toolbox, form window, project window. 
तो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल बेसिक के काफी सारे पार्ट्स हैं जो जैसे कि टाइटल बार मेन्यू बार टूल बार टूल बॉक्स एंड मेनी मोर दैट वी हैव लर्न इन आर चैप्टर नाउ नेक्स्ट वी हैव देर आर डिफरेंट कंट्रोल इन अजुअल बेसिक टूल बॉक्स लाइक पॉइंटर लेबल फ्रेम चेक बॉक्स कॉम्बो बॉक्स हॉरिजोंटल हॉरिजोंटल स्क्रोल बार टाइमर डायरेक्टरी लिस्ट बॉक्स एंड एक्सेट्रा विजुअल बेसिक में काफी सारे अलग अलग कंट्रोल होते हैं जैसे कि बेसिक टूल बॉक्स लेबल फ्रेम चेक बॉक्स कंट्रोल बॉक्स स्क्रोल बार एंड मेनी मोर यू हैव लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर नाउ नेक्स्ट एंड लास्ट द कॉमन फीचर ऑफ द फॉर्म आर नेम कैप्शन अपीरियंस फॉन्ट फोर कलर बैक कलर इनेबल्ड एंड विजुअल तो जो जो हम फॉर्म क्रिएट करते हैं उसके कॉमन फीचर्स क्या होते हैं ये हमने काफी बार इस चैप्टर में पढ़ा है जो है नेम कैप्शन अपीरियंस फॉन्ट फोर कलर फोर कलर बैक कलर एंड इनेबल्ड इनेबल्ड एंड विजिबल तो ये क्या है ये हमारे फॉर्म के डिफरेंट फीचर्स हैं जो हम इनको क्रिएट कर सकते हैं इनका यूज कर सकते हैं एक फॉर्म को क्रिएट करने में सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज इट फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर soon we are going to learn about many interesting chapters of computer till then revise what we have learned today thank you